What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and today we're going to be upgrading Ladanian Tomlinson to a real 91 overall. When you look at that, you're probably like, bro, he's already 91. What are you talking about? Well, this is what I'm talking about. He's only 91 because of the chem factor. And uh, his chem factor being toughness, I have a lot of players in my lineup with toughness, so it moves him to a 91 overall. That little dumbbell uh, in the brown circle over there, you know, that, that makes him upgrade. That's why his color is like the blue that shows that he's upgraded based on the chem. All right, so look now. Because we have him at that point, we're going to go ahead and get the packs that we need that are necessary to upgrade him to a 91 overall today. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go over to more packs and we're going to go to exclusive offers. And then we're going to jump through. First, we're going to get the daily pack. The daily pack gives you one Tomlinson token a day. You should know this by now. But if you don't and you're new, listen, you yo, you, you better go ahead and get this Tomlinson. I, I'm not, listen, I don't need to tell you anything else other than I have several videos leading up to when he is going to ultimately be a 92 overall, but in my case, he's going to actually be a 93 overall with the chem factor. Well, that's that's if I keep Big Ben Roethlisberger in my lineup because he's been kind of trash as of late, so he might be gone soon. And then you're going to want to get the other pack right next to it for the daily cap, $2 pack, and uh, that's going to give you four Tomlinson tokens. And then we're going to go to the set. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. You're going to be able to see um, exactly what I've what I've gone through as far as the sets go and where we are right now. So what is the okay? We, okay, we're getting straight garbage. All right, nice, nice. Okay, so all straight garbage. But you know what? We might be able to utilize some of those cards though. So let's not really get crazy about it because it's still a possibility that we can use some of those cards as far as the team leader sets goes and things like that. All right, no, we're not doing any goat action. I don't want to do any of that. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to jump over to the far right. We're going to look at upgrade sets. And then we're going to go over to the master sets. We're going to open up level master Tomlinson. You can see that we're 14 of 16 right now. And we're going to go. We did this all throughout, bro. We had to do all of them. So now we're one away from the 92 overall. We're going to go ahead and jump into this level master right here. We're going to put these tokens in. And after, can, can we put him? Okay, he's no, we only could put the batch in. So we're going to add these 10 items in there. Then we're going to add this Ladanian Tomlinson. And we're going to get the real 91 overall of Danny and Tomlinson right there. So now we got the never stumble again. We got the same chemistry. Let's check his speed and everything. Did it go up? 88 speed. Was he already at 88 speed? I don't know. Maybe he was at 87 before. I know he ends off as an 89. But look at his carry and look at his acceleration. Every Elusiveness. Bruh, you're not tackling this guy in the open field. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, I was thinking about getting Bo Jackson. I really was. And then I realized that Ladanian Tomlinson is what it's all about this year as far as the elusiveness with the backs. And even though the patch may have kind of changed it up a little bit, so what do we need? We're going to need two more days, right? We need two more days. So by Monday, we're going to have 92 overall um, Ladanian Tomlinson. And if you're in Australia, it's probably going to be Tuesday. No, no. Is it? I don't know. Some of you guys, like, you know, based on some of the subs that I have, you guys are, like, in a different time zone. So you know what I mean. I don't want to make it seem like I'm only talking to people in the USA. I'm talking to all of you guys. You guys are all part of G Myers World. That's why you subscribe here, and we love you here. So right here, we're going to have it sometime in the next couple of days. Let's just put it like that so everybody feels good about it. All right, we're going to put him in the lineup. He's going to jump to a 92 already, though, okay? So let's see exactly what, what that attributes to. Um... So now we got the 91 carrying, we got the 75 trucking still, everything else is the same. Everything, I think the strength goes up a little bit, awareness and the catching. His catching is an 82. I could probably put him at wide receiver, to be honest with you, because with the 89, he's a really good clutch um, receiver. It might work out that way. Let me know if you guys want me to put him at wide receiver and see how it goes on with that. And, um, you know, we can go from there. But while I have you, we could just take a look at the lineup right now. Um... Obviously, we're grinding for Mutt Master. I'm going to give you another video about where we are with that. But we still got Amari Cooper. He's kind of garbage, though. But I did get him from a Gauntlet Unleashed um, free card. And I got another video explaining that also for why you should be doing the Gauntlet Unleashed solos. And I've already given you guys the lineup updates on how to do all those things. So you should have no issues in getting that done. Um, so uh, this guy was also another card that I got, Levante David. He's not bad. Um, you know, as far as his speed and everything like that, um, his hit power he's all right right now as far as elites goes because he's so much better than Tamba Ali. Tamba Ali is so slow, bro. That dude is just, he just disgusts me. I don't, is he still in my lineup at all? No. Terrell Slug, uh, Suggs is pretty slow also. And um, what I did was with the gauntlet, I uh, I got rid of um, Jalen Ramsey and I replaced him with Stephon Gilmore because I've been doing the gauntlet unleash solos and I've gotten a decent amount. Um, 
you know, so that's pretty much where we are. And right here, this was key right here, because if you did the um, rookie premiere solos in Madden 17, Miles Garrett jumped to an 86 overall now. So now you're looking at these stats. His, it's really, really crazy. I know he's hurt in real life, but, you know, hopefully he gets better and everything like that. He should come out, you know, and be ready to go in the league. I know you Browns fans are probably going crazy like, yo, can we get a break? No. No is the answer. All right. I am looking to get rid of Jason Verrett. The dude is garbage. Uh, I'm going to get more into that on who I'm going to be replacing him with. Um, and again, Mean Joe Green is part of this week's uh, objectives where you have to put uh, guys in the sets and do all that stuff like that. So that's how the team is really looking. Shazier is, is a stud blitzing at 85 speed. The dude is just a goon. If you don't have a Ryan Shazier on your team and you blitz, like either if you're using 3 4 4 3, whatever you're using, something's wrong, bro. This dude is a goon off the edge. All right, his block shedding is pretty low. His pursuit is okay, but I'm just telling you, the 85 speed is a huge thing. And um, because I, uh, of this guy right here, this is guy, huh, man, team leaders. Once you go through the team leader solos, you get to pick an 86 overall version of any team leader. Anthony Barr, this guy runs around so fast right now with only 84 speed. I'm scared to see what's going to happen as it goes on and dudes continue to um, you know, upgrade and things like that because... It's, it's going to be really, really serious business right now. So now, with where we are, right, what we have with the Anthony Barr, we're good to go with that as far as team leaders go. I just realized that I got him here. How much is he going for? He's probably not going for that much. But we could go ahead and sell him now because we don't, we don't need him anymore. I don't think we need him. You know what I'm saying? We got an upgraded bar. And then Rodney Harrison is still staying there. He's suitable for me right now. We got Daniel Hunter over there chilling out. Um, this guy I got to get rid of. I got to find a D tackle. Like if you guys have any suggestions for D tackles, leave it in the comments. He got to go. Marshawn Lattimore also got an upgraded card. So he right now is at what a 90 speed. So listen, it's getting real, real wild out here. Wait, what's his block shedding, by the way? Does he have a decent block shed? Hold on, because I'm about to start running some real wild defenses. 58. All right, that guy sucks. All right, doesn't really matter though. We go help go ahead and figure that out. But like I told you, I told you about Stefan Gilmore. I told you about Anthony Barr, Shazir. Suggs, again, was one of the other gauntlet champions. Cyprian is pretty solid, but I am looking to get rid of him. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because it's just something about him. I don't, what's his speed, though? Is he like an 86? What is he? Uh, 83. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get rid of him. All right, so he's going to be gone very, very soon. So in the next update, you might not see that guy. I wouldn't worry about it too much, bro. Nobody's going to miss him. We do need a better punter because the punter and the kicker, they, uh, they contribute to your overall this year. And um, we got to make sure that we have that going on. So ultimately, Ladanian Tomlinson is now a 92, but he's going to be a real 92 in a couple of days. So before, you, let me go ahead and see what Barr is going for, just so you guys have an idea of how the market has been, um, you know, for, for whatever reasons, uh, because of those uh, elite leader stuff that's come out. Let's see what he's going for on the auction house. We're going to go over to his card. We're going to press L1 on it. We're going to see. Oh, so what, what's happening? Okay, 16. So let's put him up for 16K. Let's put him up for 16K. Let's see if he sells because we got the team leader. So we don't really need to have two of them. You know what I'm saying? And plus, we're trying to get a come up right now. And that's pretty much why I've been putting out a lot of videos about how to get you guys upgraded and do different things. You know what I'm saying? Just to help you with your coin management, stuff like that. Um, we'll put him up for 16K, see if he sells. All right. So that's pretty much where we are right now. So in conclusion, I want to get you guys suggestions about my D tackle because I'm thinking... Um, maybe we should go with like a Donald, a Aaron Donald, but isn't he very expensive? Aaron Donald is probably really, really expensive at this point. He's probably one of the best D tackles in the game. Before you go, let, let's check that out before you go. Let's just see what the price ranges are. But if there's anything else, obviously my offense is my offense. I'm throwing streaks. I don't care about anything. Um, so that's pretty much where we are right there with that. All right, so let's get out of Legends and just go to All. And then we're going to go to um, Aaron Donald. And see, because that's pretty much where I think I'm lacking, especially with the blitzes that I run. Uh, it, it's a real big factor. See, 730. Okay, no, because the way my bank account is set up, that ain't going to work for us. So, all right, so that, yo, Kevin Hart, much love, bro. That, that guy is done. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. So suggest anything else other than Aaron Donald. All right? And um, pretty much, let's go ahead and take a final look at LaDainian Tomlinson, who I think I might just I, I might just put him at receiver, bro, and just let Ty Montgomery or maybe get a Bo Jackson and then put LaDainian Tomlinson at receiver. Like, I don't know, because he's going to be at 89 speed with that kind of catching. You know, why not? Why, why not put him there? You know, 82 catch, that, that's not bad, bro. How does he compare to, like, do we have wide receiver? Okay, no, we can't put the wide receiver. I don't think we could do that. Okay, because, like, he's an 82 catch. So what are these other guys' catch ratings? Because he, he just seems like a total monster, dog. Like, 
what, 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 what's going on right now? Catching 84? That's You see what I'm saying? Like, their catching is not even 86, 84. It's not that much better than all these other higher over elite cards. So I might end up putting LaDainian Tomlinson um, as, as specifically uh, a wide receiver. You know, start him at running back, obviously, but put him at wide receiver, all right? So that's just some of the things that I'm thinking. Let me know what you guys are thinking about. What are we trying to do? What do you want to see coming next? Uh, are you playing weekend league? What are you guys into this week, man? Let me know. Leave it in the comments. See you guys and girls next time. One love.